Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Juan, I am a yarn addict, hence the name Juan the Yarn Addict. And I want to thank each and every one of you guys for stopping by to check out my video today. This is a yarn and crochet channel where we talk about all things yarn and all things crochet. So if that interests you, please sit back and watch this video because today, my friends, I offer you a tutorial for this corner to corner infinity scarf featuring Premier Puzzle Yarns. So the particular colorway that I chose for this project is called Acrostic. It features light pastel colors. I think light and airy when I see these colors. It's super nice. It gives us notes of pastel blue, like a, a pastel mint, minty green. Um, also, you'll see hints of like a pastel periwinkle color. It's super nice. Um, I used about 400 yards to complete this project. It measures 60 inches long before I took the ends and joined them together. This project worked up super fast. Literally in a few hours I was done. Again, it's it's seamless. Like you, Once you get going, you can just go back and forth until it's done super fast. You can make this for yourself. You can make this for a friend. Um, in either case, there are 35 different colorways of Premier Puzzle to choose from if you decide to use this yarn. This is a bulky 5 yarn and it does run 328 yards per skein, so you will need a full skein and just a piece of another. I am an affiliate with Premier Yarns. The link is in the description box. Feel free to click it, go onto the website, and look at all the different colors that Premier Yarns offers. So, it's super nice. The, the material is nice against the skin. Again, it makes an amazing scarf. So let me just show you what this looks like. Just take this off and show you. It's super nice. Very nice texture on either side. So nice. And again, 60 inches is about the standard size for an infinity scarf. Um, the choice is yours. You can continue to go on to make it longer, or you can just use one skein, make it shorter, and do like an infinity cowl instead. So, um, that is all I have for the beginning parts of this tutorial. I wish you guys the best of luck, have lots of fun, and I'll see you on the other side. Hi friends, Juan the Yarn Addict here bringing you a tutorial for a corner-to-corner -corner infinity scarf featuring... Premier Puzzle Yarns. The yarn I'm using is Acrostic. It is a bulky five weight yarn and the recommended hook size for this project and for the yarn is a six millimeter crochet hook otherwise known as a US letter J. Okay so to get started with our project today friends what we need to do is create a slip knot on our hook. However you do this is absolutely fine so long as the end result is that. Okay so the first step is to chain five. After our slip knot, we're gonna go ahead and chain five. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Okay? So after we chain five, what we need to do is we need to go into the third chain from the hook, which is where my thumb is. We need to go in there with a double crochet. Once you finish your double crochet, we wanna do two more double crochets, one in each of the remaining two chains. So that's yarn over, go into the chain, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. And then we're gonna do that again. Yarn over, go in the chain, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. And that, my friends, is the very first corner piece slash square of our project. So this tail will indicate the corner piece, okay? So from here, what we need to do, and this is what you're going to do every row while you're growing out your scarf. You're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. From here, we're gonna go into the third chain from the hook. We're going to yarn over and do a double crochet. One, two, and three. And so that's kind of where we're at right now. So the next step from here is we need to turn our, our work here. 
So we're going to turn this original square, the first one, over so that the chain space that was created from this square here lines up with our crochet hook because we're going to connect them together. So we're going to go ahead, insert our crochet hook, draw up a loop, and slip to close. From here, we're going to chain two. After that, we're going to go back into this chain space with three more double crochets. So that's one, that's two, and this is three. So far we have two rows, and our corner piece is still in the same spot. Okay, so as I previously stated, while we're growing out our scarf, we're going to chain five at the end of every row. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, and five. And then we're going to go into the third chain from the hook, which is where my thumb is, with a double crochet. It's one, that's two, and that's three. So the remaining three chains of the five get double crochets. And like previous, we need to turn our work up to align with where our hook is. The chain space must line up with where our hook is, so we're going to insert our hook, draw up a loop, and slip to close. From here, we're going to chain two, and we're going to climb the stairs here. This time there's only two, so chain two, and then we're going to go into that chain space, which is where my thumbs are, and we're going to do three double crochets. So that's one, that's two, and that's three. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to continue climbing. So we have one more stair left. We're going to insert our hook into the chain space at the top here, draw up a loop, slip to close, chain two. And then we're going to go into that chain space with three double crochets. One, two, and three. Just like that, and that ends row three. So I'm gonna do this with you one more time, friends. We're growing the scarf. As I previously stated, we need to chain five. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. The next thing we need to do from here is we need to go into the third chain from the hook with a double crochet. And then the remaining two chains will also get double crochets as we've done previously. So after you've done that, you now turn your work over so that the chain space lines up with where your crochet hook is. You're gonna go into that chain space, drop a loop, slip to close, and chain two. Okay, and as your project grows, this may tend to get in, in the way of your crochet hook. So it's perfectly okay to just bend this back like this to get that out of your way while you work that chain space. So after you, cro uh, after you chain two, you're going to go into that chain space with three double crochets. One, two, three, and three. And then we're going to continue climbing the stairs. We're going to go into the chain space, draw up a loop, slip to close, chain two. Three double crochets into that chain space, as we've done previously. And then at the top of the stairs, we need to insert our crochet hook into the chain space, draw up a loop, slip to close, chain two. And then in that chain space, we're going to do three double crochets. One, two, and three. Okay, so that, my friends, wraps up row four. We have four rows here. Okay, so we have one, two, three, and four. Okay, so continue doing that my friends, until you have 10 blocks. So each one of these is considered a block, okay? So just to recap, when you get to the end of the row here, you're going to chain five. 
And then you're going to go into the third chain from the hook. Two, three, four, five. Go into the third chain from the hook with a double crochet. Just like that. And then you're going to do two more double crochets in the last two chains. One and two. And then you're going to turn your work over like this so that your hook lines up with where the open chain spaces are. You're going to draw up a loop, slip to close, and you're going to climb the stairs. Continue doing that until you have 10 blocks, okay? So I'll see you in just a second. Okay, friends, so here I have 10 squares. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay, so the tail being in the corner where it was since the very beginning, that's the indicator that that is the bottom corner, okay? And this here is the width of our scarf. And so we're no longer going to go out any further. We're no longer going to grow the bottom part of our scarf, okay? So, but we are going to continue growing the top. Now, the next step that we need to take is we need to continue growing this, okay? So chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. Go into the third chain from the hook, double crochet, and then two more double crochets as we've done previously. And then what we're going to do is turn our work over and we're going to go up the stairs but we're going to stop at the second stair. Okay? So continue working this and I will meet you right here when we get to the second stair. Okay? Okay friends. So here I am at the second stair from the top. Okay? So what we want to do is join these two squares together where my thumbs are. Go into the chain space, draw up a loop and slip to close. We're going to chain two and we're going to work this square right here. Three double crochets, one, two, and three. Okay, so from here what we need to do is we need to go into this chain space, draw up a loop, slip to close, and chain one. Now, from here we need to turn our work over this way. Okay, because the next step after we do that is we need to go into these three double crochets and just slip to close. So go in, draw up a loop, slip to close. Go in the next one, draw up a loop, slip to close. And then in that third double crochet, go in, draw up a loop, and slip to close. And there is the other corner. So there's that, and now here is that. So from here, we're going to turn our work and go this way. And now we're going to go back up the stairs. So once we've bind off, uh, bound down our side, okay, once we uh, tie that all up, we're going to go ahead and chain two. And then we're going to go into the chain space and work the stairs like we always have. So one, two, and three. Okay, so continue working up the stairs and then I'll meet you at the top okay okay friends so here I am I'm paired up at the top what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue growing on on the side here so this is the bottom part of our scarf we're up here and what we're going to do is we're going to find that chain space just use our thumb and our finger here go in with our hook draw up a loop slip to close chain two, and then go into that chain space with three double crochets. And okay. since we're growing up, we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Go into the third chain from the hook, double crochet, double crochet in the next two chains, just like that. And then we're going to turn our work over so that the chain space is lined up with the crochet hook. Draw up a loop, slip to close. And now we're going to travel the stairs. Now since 
we're no longer building on this side. We're literally just going to go ahead and travel the stairs until we get to this square. So that's where I'm going to meet you. I'm going to work all this and I'll meet you once I get here. Okay. Okay, my friends. So I am almost approaching uh, the, the side here. So I'm going to go into the square, drop a loop and slip to close. And now I'm at the square um, before reaching the end here. So we're going to chain two, go into the chain space with three double crochets, one, two, and three. And then we're gonna go into the chain space to connect these two squares, drop a loop and slip to close, chain one and flip this way. And then we're gonna go into those three double crochets, draw up loops and then slip. So drop a loop and slip. Go into the double crochet, drop a loop and slip. Go into the double crochet, drop a loop and slip. And that's how we bind off the row. Okay. So my friends, I'm going to just kind of show you what this looks like. So you're going to continue doing that back and forth and back and forth uh, for the length of your scarf. Okay. So what I'm going to tell you is, is on this side, the long side, you're going to need 60 inches. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to leave you here and I'm going to continue working this scarf and come back when I've achieved 60 inches and I'm going to tell you how many squares you're going to need um, for this scarf. Okay. To hit that 60 inches. Okay. So continue working this and I will meet you when I've achieved 60 inches. Okay. Okay, friends. So I am back and I have achieved the 60 inches that's required. I'm just making a bunny, any, a bunny ear here. So for the long side here, you need 71 squares. So counting down from the top. So one, two, three, you just count down on the long side. You need 71. Okay. So once you've achieved that, um, you're going to come back and what we're going to do is we are going to close up the project here. So we are no longer going to go up. We're now going to come over and we're going to continue doing what we've been doing on the side here, binding off on the side. We're going to continue doing that. We're also going to bind off on this side. So essentially we're just going to fill in this triangle here. Okay. So let me just organize my yarn here. Okay. So what we need to do now is we need to chain one and turn our work. And now since we're no longer growing it, we're, we're closing it in, we're binding in every direction. So we're going to go right into the double crochet, slip to close, go in, drop a loop, slip to close, go in, drop a loop, slip to close. Okay. So we're going to chain two and we're going to climb the stairs and I will meet you when I get right here. Okay. Okay, friends. So here I am at, uh, at the top. Okay. So we're not going to go any further. Like literally this is the furthest we're going. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to connect these two squares. So we're going to go into the chain space here, insert our hook, draw up a loop and slip to close chain one. And then we're going to turn our work this way. Okay. So we're going to continue coming over this way and we're going to bind off here. So we're going to go into the double crochet, draw, drop a loop, slip to close, go in, drop a loop, slip to close. And then the third double crochet, go in, drop a loop and slip to close. Okay. Just like that. So now we're going to chain two. We're going to adjust our work here and we're going to climb the stairs until we get to here. So I'm going to go ahead and pause and meet you guys back here. Okay, friends. So here I am at the top of where I need to be. So this is kind of where we're looking. 
what we're looking like rather. Okay, so what we need to do is go into the chain space, drop a loop, slip to close, chain one, and turn our work over. There we go. And like before, we're just going to literally go into these three double crochets, draw up loops, and slip to close, chain two, turn our work this way, and climb the stairs. And we're literally just going to go back and forth and do that. So I'm going to climb the stairs one more time with you guys, bind off, and then I'm going to leave you go, and I'll meet with you at the end, okay? If you need to you know, relearn this, just feel free to rewind and replay as many times as you need in order to get it, okay? So I'll climb the stairs, and I'll meet you guys right here. Okay, so here I am. And what we're going to do is, like we did before, we're going to go into the chain space, draw up a loop, slip to close there, and then chain one, and turn our work over like this. And we're going to go ahead and slip over to here. So we're going to go in, draw up a loop, and slip. Go in, draw up a loop, slip. Go in, draw up a loop, and slip. Chain two and then continue climbing the stairs, okay? So continue doing this, my friends, and I will meet you at the end. Okay, friends, so I have reached the end. This is kind of what we're looking like. Let me zoom out. So I have it folded in half right now, but this is the overall look of our scarf. It's so nice. Okay. So what we need to do now is we need to join. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to fold your project in half. Okay. Let me see here. Fold it in such a way that the side that you're working on is the side that's facing you just like this, okay? Let me just organize the yarn, get everything situated, okay. So what we need to do now is, I wanna show you something. So in between all of these sets of three are little gaps, okay? We're gonna work into those gaps with single crochets and chain twos in between. Um, you can either sew in your end or you can do this or you can literally do stitch by stitch uh, slip stitches. Um, I figured this way it's less bulky um, and so yeah let me just okay so this is where it ended and what you want to do is chain one and turn your work. Okay and now what you want to do is you want to go into you want to go into this last space right here okay go in there and then go into the last space there draw up a loop yarn over and do a single crochet chain two and then what you want to do is you want to come over to the next uh, space here come over to the next space here draw up a loop slip to close or I'm sorry, do a single crochet, okay? Chain two, and then just repeat that. So the next space would be here. Insert your hook there. The next space would be here. Insert your hook there. Drop a loop, yarn over, and go through both loops. Chain two, and then just continue that. There and there super easy. Chain two, go into the next open space. The next open space is right there. See? Go in there, drop a loop, yarn over, go through two. And that's kind of what we're looking like. It's minimal, it's not overly invasive, and 
Once it's done working, I'm going to lay it flat so we can have a better look at what that looks like. But continue doing that, my friends, and I will meet you at the other side here. Just remember, go into the open spaces, single crochet, chain two, open space, single crochet, chain two, okay? So do that and I will meet you on the other side here. Okay, so I'm approaching the end here. Chain two. And then now what we want to do is we want to go into the very last space here. So that's obviously a chain space, but it's okay. Just go into there and then go into the last space here. Draw up a loop, go through both, just like that, okay? So now that that's done there, we're going to chain two, and then we're going to take a pair of scissors and cut a nice little tail. Pull the hook away from our work. And then hold on here, put your hands here, and slide down this way to create that double knot, okay? And then now what we're going to do is we're going to sew in this end. Let me place you on a brief pause and get my darning needle. Okay, I'm back. So we still have the tail from the very beginning, and then we have the tail from the end. What I like to do is I tie those two together. Okay, and then I do that a second time. Just like that, nice and tight. And then this small one here, I'm just gonna trim that off. You can sew that in if you'd like, but I'm not gonna do that. Okay, and now I'm gonna take my darning needle, and what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna sew in my end across the chain here. So I'm going to wrap the yarn around the eye of the needle, pinch, feed through, do that, and then literally just slide in and make sure you're grabbing fibers along the way just so that it has something to hold on to. Go back in. Make sure you're going through fibers, fibers, fibers. And then go once more. Just like that. Take your scissors, trim that off, and there you have it. Let me move this out of the way. Okay. Okay. Okay, so obviously this is the inside, so let's go ahead and flip our work. And you can't even tell that that is even there, which is amazing. Love that. Let me back this up. So that's what we have, my friends. The corner to corner infinity scarf so i'm going to take you guys into the studio where i'm going to give you some final thoughts okay so i'll see you in just a second hi friends so we are here at the finish line i am super excited that we are here this is the finished product super nice loving all of the texture look at how nice that texture looks who knew puzzle could look this good <laughs> It's so nice. So anyway, I know I keep saying it, but Premier Puzzle is definitely the go-to yarn for many, many different types of projects. It gives you a color story without you having to do the work. So let's try it on for size and see how it works out for us. So I just wrap it around my neck. I hold it out like this. I twist it 180 degrees. And then I put it around my head like this, and then I just adjust as necessary. And so, my friends, that is how I do that. Okay? It's super nice. Love it. You can make it as a gift. You can make it for yourself. It literally took just over a skein. I want to say a skein and a quarter. So... This is 328 yards. I want to say it took about 400 yards in total. So just over a skein uh, to finish this. 
super nice. And so yeah, if you enjoyed this, my friends, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell to stay updated with everything regarding me and my channel. That is all I have for you today, my friends. So until the next one, take care. Bye-bye.